Okay, we are still debugging, but I want you to see the new chassis. This is an entirely 3D printed chassis with ball bearings. It is operating from this ESP board and this DRV8871 motor chip. And it's getting power from a transformer. Okay. No, no, I bumped something. Oh boy, I hope I didn't burn anything out. Oh, I bumped the ground. I bumped the ground. I see it. I, I was pointing there and I hit a wire. Okay, we're good. We're back to it somehow. We're a little loose. We'll be all right. And then, so that's the motor. That's how this is going on. But this little black piece here is an antenna. And up here is the base controller, and that's its antenna, and that's its controller. It's going through the USB so I can monitor the... Um, uh, signals that it sends out and then we have our uh, OLED where we're seeing the direction and the speed on the display and I have lights letting me know you know that where's the power and what's good and all that crap so now what I'm going to do I have this trim pot this trim pot is on the flake side uh, this is an old test kit and I think it needs cleaning but I'm going to rotate it to my far left and that is off. It's showing zero speed, and, and obviously it's damn near full speed. I'm only doing 11 volts in this test, so don't get excited. So now I'm going to crank it to the right, and it slows down, it slows down, it gets just near the end of the pot, and then it takes off again. So that would tell me this pot may have some dirt in the contacts, and it's passing back and forth uh, because we're showing, you know, a big count. There, 20, 40 count. There's no motion. What's that? Okay. Now, I'm going to go forward. Now, forward, say, all right, I like that. That's, I'm cranking, baby. That's full speed. Now, I'm going to turn it all the way to the left, and he stops. But he stops. He doesn't start again until almost 1,200 counts. Right there, 12 to 16 counts. He takes off, and he takes off. He gets up to 2047. But if I keep going, he shuts off. And I think that's a dirty pot. So I got a new pot. I got a newer pot. It was here a minute ago. There it is up here. Right. I got a new pot. I may try to splice that in and see what's going on. But the, the message for you is we have motor control. We have forward and reverse, and we're doing it with this $5 microprocessor, microcontroller, and this $5 microcontroller, and this $5 motor controller, and that screen. I don't know what that screen cost, probably 10 bucks. I forget. At any rate, that's doing it. And this can run off of a, uh, it could run off of a power supply, probably, or it could run off batteries. Uh, but this is definitely, as we speak, running off a transformer up through the track. This would be the tender, like over here. Here's the tender, right? Here's the rectifier. There's distribution. There's the board. There's the motor controller. And there's a, 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 a speed uh, rectifier if we need to do something else. But if I crank this guy up here and then let this guy crank up, he's held down here and he's held down here. I got two... Uh, faucets turning the voltage down okay I want to keep it low for all this testing but the key here is we <laughs> have motor control of sorts and that can go backwards and forwards That's only half speed. And that's no wires. That's me turning this pot. You see it? You hear it? I'll get back further enough. I want you to make sure. At no time do my fingers leave my hands. Okay. And we're sending we're sending tiniest amounts of information. So it's fairly instant.
fairly instant. And once you would get this engine running, uh, we're going to have a, a rotating knob with numbers one to nine. You can control nine engines. You click at the number engine number two. This engine will stick to whatever the last instruction was, and he'll just motor along, and you can start running engine two. Okay, that's what we got. I got to keep going back and forth, figure out how to untangle this weird behavior, is how it's been reported to me. And there you go. All right. First time I've run this with wireless control, ESP. 32s, pair of them, using ESP NOW. Now it's a new data packet exchange protocol. It's new three years ago, but it's new to me. It's very tight, very efficient, uh, but it only goes about 50 to 100 feet. So small layouts, you're going to be just fine. Okay. Later.